people know Richard Lewis as a comedian. What they don't know is, uh, because they didn't read his book, but I did, uh, many years ago he hit rock bottom when he wow. was addicted horribly to champagne and fell asleep at a movie premiere. <laughs> What? That uh, was his bottom. That was his rock bottom, and he hasn't had a drink since. Wow! And he recently was helping Artie. You know, he doesn't even know Artie. I've from actually he reached I've, out. I've Richard actually Lewis, read Rich, his book. Yeah, Richard Lewis is a good man. He's a good he guy, is? and I'll prove to you why he's a good guy. But I, like I said, he hit rock bottom years ago when he fell asleep at a movie <laughs> premiere when he was addicted to champagne. <laughs> he loves it when you belittle. I read it. It was crystal book. meth, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> He told me the Richard, drugs. Richard, you were horribly addicted. It's like Artie on Jeopardy. I'll take crystal meth for 100000 <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. By Happy birthday. Way, I don't know if Happy you. birthday. I don't know if you know this, I Richard. Because of, you, because of you, Artie had extensive fake therapy with a guy you recommended. I've been, I've been keeping up with him. Yeah. You know, oh, somebody told me, somebody told me a great true. story. What a shock. Here's, just to bring you up today, Richard Lewis, who was here the last time. Big said, shock. Oh, I'm shocked that you lied. Yeah. Richard Lewis was here the last time, and he was describing his own battle with alcohol addiction. As I, like I said, he yeah. hit rock bottom when he fell asleep at a movie premiere. And uh, <laughs> was in, well, he blacked out. No. He blacked out. Yeah. Hey, what about going out with a woman who I know now for four months and not remembering anything about it? That's a little more than champagne. Yeah, I know you want to keep going with the champagne shit, fine, how? But no, it's you were crazy. addicted to champagne, am I correct? No, I was addicted to every drug except I didn't do any heroin or hallucinogenic. His book is 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 crazy. It's good, but it's I I read the whole thing, me and my sister, and we were. Comparing notes, it's it's a compelling book. It, it, he was he was out of control. I know he fell yeah, asleep at a movie right, premiere. Okay, well, so he listen, he drank a whole bottle of champagne. He drank a whole bottle of champagne. It was uh, completely uh, insane. I wish that's all it was. Most Jews don't drink, drink like that. Now most Jews have one two drinks a year. <laughs> so, that's so not true. Um, I Richard, buried a lot of drunk Jews. I want to I want to tell this story because it's uh, about you as a, a good Samaritan. Aunt Richard really didn't know Artie, and Richard came on the show, and he had bat had his own battles with uh, drugs, and he called Artie off the air, and he recommended a therapist. Now, was this after the the roast, missing the roast? Was that what did it? Or this was, was before. 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 That was before. This was oh, no, before. no, 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 no. It was after. It, it was, was after. after. Okay, all right. It was after. Can I just say what? one thing? Because I pre does this have anything to do with me at, at town yes. hall this Saturday with Bill? <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry, you get your plug. He, he didn't no, know. Was don't ruin your appearance. That was a joke. Don't ruin your appearance. That was a birthday gift for you. It's stupid no, fucking come on, joke. That wasn't even a joke. <laughs> and and it, it, you couldn't even classify that a joke. It's not even constructive. Yeah, you know, you're right. right. <laughs> now listen. I should say he didn't only he not only called me. I mean, anyone who uh, talks to me about stand up for longer than ten minutes knows that he is a big influence on me, Richard. I loved his first special. I, I always yeah. well, let I me take tell Letterman. Story. Let me tell. And he called me for an hour was very sweet to me and but and, what's great about you know it is, i mean he really was nice and, and but, but what's great about it Artie, is richard doesn't even know this what? so he gave you the name of the therapist yeah. and you came in and you told us you were seeing this therapist meanwhile you'd only seen him once no 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 a couple of times and i saw him even like jason four times. jason and will who got married said you realize Artie blamed the fake therapy for, for not, not coming, coming to, the to wedding. their weddings. He used it very well. Because Artie, no, 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 no. Artie would go up to them and, and he said, my sober. therapist says, no, no, no. my I therapist, <laughs> wait, listen to this. My therapist says, I can't go to your wedding because I shouldn't be around. <laughs> my therapist oh. said. But he wasn't what? even in the therapy. He used his shrink. He used he his shrink. Wedding. Yes, no no shrink. To us about this First of all, I said that I was, I said that I was, I was worried about my sobriety going to a wedding. Let's be honest. That's what I said. I'm being honest with you. But you were using. You said. No, I wasn't at that time. No. You said the therapist was upset with you because you threw that party for me. He won. And oh, then, what fucking flaming bullshit this is! Yes. I had it. And you said, Artie, was telling you not you're to go a to fucking drug addict. Yeah. Admit it already. Do we I, don't want to go to your that. funeral, you asshole. What All of these you? little episodes are funny, but you're gonna fucking die way early if you don't fucking clean up. All right. I'm. I'm. The only thing I'm gonna die. Wedding is this. Hey, he didn't buy Campbell's soup because the shrink said he shouldn't eat tomatoes. It's all bullshit. <laughs> we all. Ah, fuck the microphone. No, we need a microphone. Wow. Put that right, on I need right. a microphone. <laughs> yeah, we I'm need so to hear angry you, at Artie. Artie. Go ahead. You know, talk to Let me tell you something. Right. Let Richard talk to you. Listen. We respect him. Do you want to play gin tonight with Dr. Pinsky and I? <laughs> I just that's the first thing I want to ask you. Richard. Artie, Artie you know, what I was you... listening to a show the other night, 
and, I, and, the, and, the, and after the show, they interview everyone here on the show. Right. Yeah. It's exactly what happened to me. Everyone has, and everyone has the right. Howard has his spin on it. Hey, you know, he keeps the comedy intact. He says, hey, I have no problems with Artie doing it. You know, I he's don't. great on the show. But, I, yeah. And it's true. Some people say, let him do what he fucking wants to do. Robin is far more a too, far more right in terms of what, what I know about being a drug addict. Right. She knows that you're fucking on, on a death fucking wish. Okay? You, you're, you're in denial, Artie. That's it. You're I don't in think fucking... I'm on a death wish. I don't. You know, I, don't. I think I I'm do. fine. I think he's right. It's a death wish, man. Don't you get... You're, you're a fucking drug addict. And you're... I know I'm a drug addict, but I don't think I'm on a death wish right now. You I are really on don't. a death wish. I heard what you did. You went, you went to a place. You had some Wolfgang Puck sandwiches. <laughs> you jerked, I wish. You, you, went, you jerked uh, off. That would have been great. You, you had some wheat juice, and then you, then you jerked off again, and you had, had, then you had pizza with fucking peanut butter. Butter on. It's all bullshit. <laughs> I mean, you can't bullshit another drug addict. You I'm might not... bullshit your your Did fans. Did you lie a lot too, Richard? Were I you lied a... for twenty years. Wow. I I, I had a, I, I had to go for a knee operation, and right. and two of the people that broke down my door and had my intervention, they said we're best friends. And then my sister came up on the whole nine yards. I was at the the, Ritz, the old Ritz Carlton. Right. And Brenner and everybody, they called me up. They said, we're never going to see you again. You're, you're going to die, and we, we can't. And if like, you don't help yourself, good. we're out of your fucking life. What got you to listen? Huh? What got you to listen? Like, what fine, like how do you get through to an audience? I mean, well, well, what got me yeah. to, I was I was speaking to Robin before. I said, what got me to listen, I did write about this. I was holed up in my house. I was totally depressed. Right. I had everything I ever dreamt of, and I was holed up doing crystal meth for six days. I lost about 15 pounds. I looked like fucking like a Jewish Howard Hughes getting ready for his fucking half Torah, his bar mitzvah. <laughs> and I looked in the mirror, and I went, I built this, I bought this house after struggling for 15 years before, you know, right. meeting what are the you, odds? and right. then let him in the whole nine right, yards, right, right. and the series, and all that right. shit. I said, I'm going to fucking die at, at 43 years old. After for all that, for what? For this fucking powder? After and all I, the struggle. Yeah. that jo Just doing jokes and I'm living the life of a fucking ki a king? Right. This is bullshit. And I called two friends that take me to the hospital and that was it. No mas. That was 14, wow. 15 years ago. But you got to reach that moment of clarity. Which he hasn't new... had the moment, you said. No, in fact, there's a, 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 a lawford just wrote a book, Moments of Clarity. And yeah, I recommend it to Artie. It has about 35 drug addicts. And when it, just what so you when said, you called when Artie, it happened to each yeah. of these people. When you called Artie, you must have gotten through to him on some level because he did, in fact, go see your therapist. He didn't he continue. Did he really? Him. I don't know. My, he my, I would never, he would, my therapist would never say anything about no, that. I no, saw, of course I saw him. One time, right? No, no, no. I saw the guy four times. Oh, you did? Without question. Right. And then well, I, I lied about two months of it. <laughs> <laughs> you want the honesty? Okay, I'll be honest. You want honesty? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. didn't want to go the to their fucking you know. weddings. Yeah. So I gave them 2500 each in cash. Well, that was smart. Well, how much money does it take to dummy these kids up nowadays? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a lot of laughs. I mean, you know. Artie, you could just say, I don't want to go to your wedding. Right. You don't have to lie and say, I'm in treatment. No, you have that's to That's my point. Of course I care about him. I would like I to see him get healthy. I know you do. But I'm never going to sit here and say he doesn't do his job. He does do his job. He does. He no, does his job. You're right. That's a funny spin on it. But no, it's not a funny spin. I'm telling you, Artie doesn't do anything in terms of his job that I feel is, uh, you know, detrimental. In other words, for the most part, he's here. We have an arrangement where he does have time off and things if he needs right. it. And he is... It, uh, was, it used to be for work. Now it's for drugs. Right. And he's, but he's only taken like 18 Whatever days I off to do. In, in like eight years. So it's not so terrible. Yeah. And he has done his job. I can't tell him he's not doing his job if he's, if he's doing it. Richard, I brought you know, this up what? yesterday. Right. There's no guarantee that... Artie losing this gig is his bottom. No, no. fucking way. It's there, a, there's, no. there's no guarantee that that would wake him up and get him into uh, a treatment facility. And I even said to Artie, if you need a couple of months, go take it. I, I, there's no issue with whether he can go or not. The point is, whether he's here or not does not mean Artie's going to wake up and say, I need to do something because well, I just lost that something job. Something dawns on me as Richard was speaking. 
Maybe we don't have big enough names at his intervention at Artie's. You had Brenner. Who else was at your intervention? You no, no, I didn't, have, I didn't have huge names. I had no. a lot, you know, a lot of close, old close friends, and then people call in the room saying, you, "You're a dead man. We can't. We're not going to be. We're well, out of your life." A lot of your problems, and I'm being serious. I'm not trying to make jokes. No, I, but I a lot of your problems about your mother. I mean, I know you used to have violent reaction when she would call in. And, That's uh, because she was neurotic, and we didn't get along. That's all. Are you speaking with her at all? Is she is she dead? She's way dead. Oh, she is. Yeah. Has that helped you in a sense? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the fact that she's no longer around. No, in fact, you. she didn't. When I told, I was at the Friars once uh, when I was sober for about two or three years. And no. I mean, mothers would do this. And I told her, I, she, I didn't have, I wasn't drinking. Right. And she says, why aren't you drinking? I said, I'm, a, I'm an alcoholic. She goes, no, you're not. And I went fucking nuts. And <laughs> I took her out, out in the fucking front of the fries club. I went, I am a fucking alcoholic. No, we had a fight about, I had a, because I was, I was proud that I finally could admit it. Right. Something that he hasn't, I mean, he admits it. I don't know what you're admitting on he it. He admits it. I admit drug I'm a drug addict. I mean, what do you want me to tell you? Yeah, well, the bottom is, is if you leave, if you get hammered one day and you walk, and you leave this, and you walk out of here, you know, and you do, you do little quips when you walk. Out, you're very funny, <laughs> ha ha, and you and you and you get hit by a fucking milk truck, and then on the news, Artie you Lang, think I'm loaded let me work. fucking finish, I'm not and you up get and you lose both crystal meth, you lose really both your legs, and then you come in, you'll be peg leg drunk, Artie. All right, you want that? <laughs> it will that be a bottom? No. That'll and be then a you go out, you that do your little equipment, and you walk out with your fucking peg legs. You're an expert. And then you get hit by a, a dairy truck the next day, and you lose your fucking right arm. So now you just got one arm left. And a wooden dick and a, two wooden legs. <laughs> Is that going to be enough? That's you, in other words, you're saying, are you waiting for rock bottom? Is it, he, get, only he knows. You? Right. All you guys are right. Every, everyone has the right to. I'm not high at work. I don't get high at work. I'm not. See that? You're not even listening to me. It's good. No, everyone here has the right attitudes. It's none of their fucking business but yours. It's your life. Right. I understand. Well, so you're why fucking are we it having up. this discussion? Why do you think he does it? Huh? Why do you think he does he's it? Because we're addicts. And I, no, no, but what is it why? Is it from the father, the mother? Well, here's one, one thing. I, when I had yeah. spoken to him, yeah. and uh, I told him that, and this is, you've heard, this is historically, like Chris Farley. Right. Chris Farley, and it's been well documented. I mean, he idolized Belushi. Right. And anything short of living that lifestyle, you know, crash and felt burn. Felt disingenuous. That, and felt like he wasn't living up to his potential. Living up to his potential meant dying young. Right. And that's, what he's, that's where he's headed. He does love Belushi and Chris Farley. I he got them both them. by 10 years. They died in 33. It's not a joke. It I'm not, I, I think I'm over that. I don't want to die. I mean, I know that sounds hard to believe, but I don't want to die. Chomp, chomp, chomp. What are you eating right now? <laughs> what are yeah. you eating as you say that? Yeah. Peanut M&M. Peanut M&M. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, M&M is filled with fucking, uh, you know. Crystal meth? Yeah. <laughs> you got crystal meth? You got them in Durango, Did Mexico. You read my didn't? book, Too Fat to Fish. I started to read it, but then I got it's It's great. It's depressing. And, what, and how it, and Howard's it's funny. It's funny. How it's, it's all great. But then I stopped because I, I said, you know what? I'm reading a dead man's book. Oh, Whoa. wow. <laughs> well, that's listen, a real dead man's book. There are a lot of guys listening to this show right now who are addicts, all right? And right. they're saying, fuck him to me. Fuck Lewis. You know what? I don't tell anyone no, don't not to drink or not do drugs. I'd say I couldn't do it. Do you still but think I told, about Let drinking? me tell you what I told Howard. I, I, no, I told Artie. Artie. I, yeah. I said, hey, man. I said, you could be, you're brilliantly funny, you're great on this fucking show, you're a big fucking star, and I have a feeling he thinks he'd lose his, his fucking Edge. comedy balls. He wouldn't. He'd be even fucking more on fire talking about how fucked up he was. I've never, right. look, for what it's worth, I've been doing this for 40 years, I've never been better on stage because I talk about drugs in a way, because I, I used to lie on stage because right. I was a drug addict. Right. So I could never be that fucking great. Because you it. weren't that honest. I wasn't. And honestly, and we all love the fearlessness of Pryor and Bruce and those kind of guys. Those guys were the best. Right. Because so now I'm, you became authentic. You're talking about your real issues. Hey, fucking Pryor, when I say talk about, you know, freebasing and blowing himself up because he, he could talk about it. I now always crazy felt you was. didn't like doing stand-up. You don't even like to look at no. the audience. You don't like looking at... They, That's they because make... I don't know what I'm doing. I have a lot of stuff in my head, a lot of material. I don't have a, an act, so I get nervous. What That's do you the mean only you don't reason. have an act? You have <laughs> material. You have Yeah, but set. about 20 hours in my computer, so about about a half of the show is ad-lib, and the other 15 minutes is 20 minutes is new stuff, and then the rest I is... I tell you, he's very intense. Difficult. He's intense on stage. In 19, he doesn't 19, like doing it. 1987, I saw you. Yeah, you said with you know Howard. I gotta tell you something. 
for 25 years or so, you have like these two or three things, and you're f- I might have to have an intervention on you to Why? suck out some of these fucking comments. <laughs> you do not. He hates doing comedy. He got high on champagne. Get a fuck. Get over it. Are you wearing nail polish? <laughs> huh? Are you wearing nail polish? <laughs> Are you wearing nail? I've never polish? got my nails done once. That's not nail polish. I wouldn't let a person touch my fingers. Did you tweeze your eyebrows? How can you see through the ray bands? Because you're raising <laughs> you fucking Superman. You raised your eyes, and I see I see eyebrows tweezed. I might have done a little a little tweezing. Why would you tweeze your eyebrows? Because I'm a fucking. You know what I did once? What's with you? Let me tell you what I did. I had a nervous breakdown a year ago in Atlanta. I was doing you a club did? day. A real nervous. I had breakdown. to do two shows practically. Yeah. I took. I was looking at my hair. All I'm right. Sorry. Right. I'm old. I mean, I look. I have some hair left. Right. And I took the tweezers. I have I, here's, I do have a I have I'm obsessed with the ch- I knew you tweezed your there. eyebrows. So when I see like a little thing sticking up, yeah. I I did that. I then that. I looked at my forehead. I saw like straggles. Yeah. I did this. <laughs> then I kept going higher and higher and cutting. I look like fucking like from the Adams family. <laughs> I cut three inches. I like it looked like and I came home and Joy looked at me. She went and sh- she says, "Holy shit." You used what the fuck happened to yeah. you? You lost your whole hair in a weekend. You, so she called. She got online. She you know that Gango hat that that uh, cat wears. Gango. Yeah, yeah, yeah Gango hat. She called. She says she she called like in a panic. I never saw my wife panic ever, but this. She, your hair. she says the guy's waiting for you down at the mall on uh, in La Cienega. He has four black Gango. You can't. And, and then she called a, 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 an you, extra doctor. You, you have six months. You got to wear the outfit. So she wouldn't go out with me for six you months. You used to have beautiful eyebrows. One thing I tell Rob. No, no, I, I don't I like women look great. Richard Lewis had such nice. I even do, you don't you, you don't how about the nostril you don't I clip do that. that I got a so what's the difference between clipping nostril hair I clip the eyebrows what about the groin yeah. that if you yeah. start cri- I shave it down but I never do it right you do a groin it looks, thing yeah it looks horrible isn't you that, shave your, your bush isn't it? you shave your bush a little I uh, I even it out you do I, yeah, even, I do a little bush evening yeah me too don't be embarrassed <laughs> I'm not but the but hair you do thing. the eyebrows too much you look like a tranny. I'm so what should I do? Let make it grow. A little... Let it grow. You're, you're pulling it. You're tweezing. Too Let me much. see your eyebrows. I got beautiful eyebrows. You see? do. Yeah. I, I think I you like do. a man. A manly eyebrow. I never thought I'd you say that. Can we get back to me eyebrows. dying? Yeah. Yeah. I have yeah. beautiful yeah. eyebrows. Get back to and cure him. Huh? Do you, you eyebrows still go, for do you still go to meetings? That was five minutes. I think we can now honestly ask. like an hour. Good to see you, Richard. We can honestly ask now what's your gay problem. Yeah. Ask who? Richard. He's not gay. He's not gay. It's a serious reference. the references to your your Richard. What, why uh, conversation about eyebrows? There was something I wanted to say to you about uh, the, wrapping up this already. Want me to go out and come yeah, in let's, again? Let's wrap it up. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, no. fuck you. Let's wrap up. No, wrap up the already thing and get to your material about that. I wasn't. I just that was incredibly gracious of you to call him. Mm. I, I was. He to say talked to me serious. for two hours on the phone. I mean, I mean you uh, didn't have to do that, and you did, and it was very nice of you. But do you feel hurt that he hasn't really come around, or was it just a way no. to? I mean, you don't feel hurt. Did I'm, he? Did he indicate to you that? he was seriously uh looking for help no no he, he just uh, he was very flattering to me and he says uh and, and i know his history with liking and digging my my work that's cool Absolutely. and he thought it was ballsy for me to call because i said i i said to him i said i said you know if you're taping this now and bringing it tomorrow, it'd be f- I said it'd be great, t- great for Howard. Yeah. But I don't give a shit. I would you never know, do that. First of all, I don't know how to no, do he, that. He, he, well, he's he's, 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 he's technically he's, he's a Yeah, he's beyond. Take a toy time with this fucking guy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What are you, Addison or something? Do you still go? <laughs> to that, can I use that? <laughs> do you still go to meetings? Huh? Do you still go to meetings? Hey, how are you? Hey, what are you, Edison? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> do you still go to meetings? Huh? Do you sure. I go to twelve step meetings. I go to shrinks. I go to I meditate. I do everything I can to not to drink or do you drugs. still have the desire to drink? Do you ever no. think about it? No, no because it's don't. a no. It's a no. It's, I, luckily, Your I don't have the cravings. Better. Your life is better now. Never been better. Well, let me ask you this. How co- I got to that place with cocaine. Yeah. I seriously got to that place with but cocaine. Already, yeah, but already. You know, you know, a million that. other drugs. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but I, I, yeah. dig this. No, I got this. I was thinking about this. You guys keep saying all this stuff. You Howard, that can I answer Howard's day. question? Yes. You know what hurt my feelings? Who's yes. the guest tomorrow, my aunt? <laughs> hey, oh, yo, that's funny again. Paul Why McCarty. are you mocking my comedy? Yeah, Paul McCartney I love your comedy. I'm talking about your drug problem. Problem. I bet it'll get around to that somehow. I don't know. Every other fucking guest does. No, Paul can't give you advice. He's made a worse mess of his life than you. That's right. I'm yeah. sick of people kissing up to you and coddling you. I know Who's a million other fucking drug addicts who need help. Who's kissing up to me? Everybody calls me a jerk off. No, everyone kisses up to you. He's right. Yeah, but because you have a drug addict think I want it now, and if I don't get it now, and you're an egomaniac, 
people who work well. I mean, I think every comic is an ego. No, every drug addict's an ego maniac. You want what you want now, or else you're pissed off. Is he hurting his? Uh, yes. Here's how he, he wants it me. all. He wants it all. Yeah. So how did he, he says so when I hear shit, when I hear him say, "Hey, no, I stopped doing cocaine." All right, fine. So he can ha so he'll eat, gain three hundred pounds, and he'll do fucking heroin. It's right. all the same. I right. Well, I gambling. I replace yeah, he, I have a friend of mine who's Why in, I, in Ohio. He's a sex addict. All right. right. Okay. He had this relationship. Great in, in the sack. Yeah. Unfucking believable. He Loved the girl. In the bed. Right. All right? He fucked about 18 hours a day. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I, I get that at this? Well, like this. So here's the point. You I, had that. You just can't get any more later. Exactly. <laughs> so, it's easier to get heroin. But he, the rest of his life was totally going into the toilet. And it's hard to tell a guy, you're coming too much, man. Yeah. you got to stop coming. Right. Yeah. That's hard. Right. That's hard to tell somebody. But ultimately, I said, you know, you're missing out on some other things. I just want you to know, you know, there was a... Uh you know, there was a war. Right. You know, I didn't know I was fucking her. Would right. you stop coming for a war? I wouldn't. <laughs> you know, so you, you do you, no, but here's what hurt my feelings. Here's what hurt my feelings. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Because, because remember, feelings. I want to ask you for your crystal ball prediction on this guy. But oh, fine. Go ahead. Is that, is that a dark. new segment on the show? I don't uh, know. Yes, new segment. <laughs> Come up with the, no, no, here's what hurt me. Yeah. A couple of times, because Artie gave me his number. You know, a couple of his, right. uh, down yeah. south, wherever, sure, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> when I would call him, sure. I just say this. Because I just say... Hey, it's Richard. Hope you're doing okay. Right. He knows I'm a drug addict, too. I have, now, when, when you call someone who's a drug addict, if they're not in recovery, they, they don't, don't call, call you back. back. Hey, turn that fucking bullshit off. <laughs> so that when, when he didn't call me back, first of all, why can't he say, how the fuck are you doing? Right. What if I'm holed up, you know, slipping and fucking dying You should have told me that. Right. No. You I would have called you right me back and asked me, how are you yeah. doing? But when he did, that himself. meant I knew that he was, and I was right. He was, right. he was. No, you he were was, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that's mean, why I, you I don't want to lie to you. Want, I don't want to lie to no, you. No, that's good. But I you're don't, right. I'm going to call you back and go, I'm sober and. You don't want to lie to me, anyone else. When you stop lying to yourself, you're going to get your life back. I lie when I'm forced to lie. I don't go out looking for Why didn't you call Richard and say, because I didn't want to lie. using heroin. Because I didn't want to. Because I don't want to stop using heroin. I mean, you don't have to stop. You could have just talked to him about it. Nah, but I don't want to disappoint him. I am appointing Richard your go to guy. I want you reporting. Richard's your sponsor? That's right. Then I got to make a deal with Sue. Be in Milwaukee. I'm going to be in Phoenix. We're going to call each other. Yeah, you're going to call each he other. He works too much. Celebrity sponsor. <laughs> All right. Look, uh, <laughs> this guy right here, Richard Lewis, is a top comic. He's reached the top of his game. You know him from Letterman. You know him from this show. You know him from Larry David uses him. Curb your enthusiasm. He's had his own movies. Uh, Richard Lewis, this Thursday night at the town hall. In the Saturday. This Thursday, Thursday night. Saturday the 17th. It says, see Richard Lewis this Thursday night at Town Hall in Manhattan. Saturday, January 17th with Bells. We were talking about you to the New York Times yesterday. I hope they put some of it Are you in. sure it's Saturday night? I'm being serious. Well, if Bad. it's if the it's st 17th, that's Saturday. Yeah. Okay. This is my guys again. I don't know what's going on. They're trying to undermine me. For tickets, so this Saturday. This Saturday, they could have, they could have roles getting chimps, for all I know. I care about Saturday. See, Richard, January 22nd through the 24th in Palm Beach, Florida. West now, Palm Beach, yeah, but uh, it, this town hall is like a great venue. Why will you not, West Palm. Why will you not announce where you're going to be in West Palm Beach? No, I'm playing a club down there, the improv. So oh. They have a new theater, like a 700 seat. Did, Arnie, have you, have you seen that theater? Yes, I have, actually. It's, it's, it's supposed to be beautiful. Oh, no, it's beautiful. Somebody right. told me you will not announce the name of a club that serves alcohol if that's, you perform there. Are you crazy? That's every club. Is that true? <laughs> that's, that's My guys just told me that. You guys also had me performing Thursday, where I'll be, I'll be uh, hopefully having intercourse with my wife Thursday night. How's that going with the wife? With the wife, Don Rickles' son, ladies and gentlemen. How's it the going? Wife. How is it going with her? Huh? Are you, are you happy still? You yeah, are a sex I, I, I'm not a happy person by nature, you know. So uh, I could have, the, you know, I have, a, I have the best fucking wife I could ever dream of having. Right. But I annoy the shit out of her. Do you? I, are you I get into funks. Are you surprised that she's still with you? Well, I can read your fucking mind. I know exactly what you're going to ask me. I'm almost scared. It's Why? Like a series. You don't know what I'm going to ask you. I almost do almost every time. What am I going to ask you next? Huh? What am I, where am I going with this? You're going to ask her what she thinks about me tweezing my eyes. Eyebrows. No, I don't care about that. I'm oh. saying, why, why would this woman... Live with me? Yeah, if you're that big a pain in the ass, what does she love about you? Is there anything to love I'm about you? I'm, pretty, I'm funny, I'm a decent guy, and I'm uh, you? pretty good in bed. Yeah? Yeah. I don't believe that. Do you know you're pretty good in bed? How do you know that? <laughs> yeah. I, I have letters. I have letters and referrals. <laughs> <laughs> and recommendations.
That sounds like a fun night. It's a great venue. Who yeah. goes on first, Belzer? Belzer, yeah, with right. his so band. You're, you're the headliner. No, we're co-headlining, but he, you know, he. What do you mean with his band? He, the Belzonics. What is that about? <laughs> I don't want to hear him sing. I, the band's great. He does it. He like he's like a rock and roll singer. I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. I, you know, he's That's funny amazing. as shit. He's a legend, but he brings a band with him. Does he do his uh, Mick Jagger impression? I have no idea. I don't watch anybody anymore. The, I just I come there five minutes before I go on. The band annoys you, doesn't it? No, I I tease him about it. Right. The belt, you know. I mean, you're a stand up. You go out I mean, there. And you... I, the band's great, by the right. way. And he kills. Right. Okay. It's right. hard to follow. And already, when, I mean, no matter how strong you are, following you know an A act is, is murder. Right. Yeah. But at, with a rock and roll band, it makes it even more difficult. Yeah, but I'm not gonna, no matter how great it is for him, I'm not coming on with, uh, landing at an airport with, hey, where's my tuba player? I, I'll go fucking <laughs> k I kill myself. Makes no sense. <laughs> hey, where's my, I lost my snare drum. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, By the way, can I ask you something, Howard? Sure. Because I know you, you're, you're into health shit. And when I heard that Lang uh, went, took that, you took a high, you took that colonic where they walked. The three of them. Right. The is, now, I, a lot of famous actresses in, back in the 40s did it every day. I think <laughs> Betty Davis took one every Robin day. Robin does it every they day. Don't, uh, That's right. Someone, they someone don't else. suggest every day. Robin not, does it all the time. Is it a rush? Does it feel good? You no. want it? I didn't really? get any he loved of, it. He loved it. I, I, I like embarrassing all that shit comes out of you in front of the nurses. <laughs> no, I tell you, it it was refreshing. You feel great, but it what wasn't about when the shit, when the when the logs come out? Do they do they turn their head or what? No, they look at it. They love it. They fucking get into it. It's their whole life. They they announce it like <laughs> Bob Uecker. <laughs> Do me a favor. Don't get into that. We had on Dr. Drew Pinsky. He, he, he said no way. Don't listen no way to, to what? what? No, I was just... No, not to that. You don't need that. Oh, no, that has nothing to do with him getting sober. Just, I was just... You know, I, I, you know, I used to be an enema freak. I was addicted to enemas. Were you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> listen to him. I, you know the fleet enema with the picture of the beautiful nurse? Why, why were you... And when it came with olive thought? oil, with the orange tip had olive oil, and it came on the side of, with a little little crouton. Well, how does a man get addicted to that? How did you... Did you like doing it? I did. Yeah. What was up with that? Well, I was. That was about. Like that was a little cat. Once I had a woman s squirted in my butt. Wow. <laughs> it was fucking this was great. A sex thing. And then you? I. Let no. She charged you for that. She did that, huh? That's so disgusting. There's no hook. I don't need hook. That's gross. Huh? That's gross. But not my wife. This is back in when I was high. You get scatological. Uh, did she watch you? Did she watch you move your bowels when you did that? No, I re had to run it because it c comes right out. I didn't want to fucking move my bed straight. It was a lot of money. I said, that's uh, unbelievable. Well, uh, Why not? It feels good. Don't do it anymore. I don't. I haven't. Yeah, yeah, I but I used to go to like drugstores when I had like, if I was doing a, a gig for six days, I'd walk around with the cart. Get my sodas and, and shit. And let's say, and I was, let's say, with, uh, if I was, if I was still drinking bottles of wine wow. and about thirty enemas. Wow. And I had a, was and it sexual in a sense. No, Why I didn't always. Use it, but I know it was like you know I, I'm dysmorphic. So I used to be chubby. Is, is Robin right that that a woman would administer the enema to you? Was it a sexual? I, thing? I, I just related. Uh, I had some memories of uh, back in the day when wow. I was loaded and going down. Watch you evacuate. No, no, that I wasn't into. But having a stick in, stick it in the ass and squirt the water was a trip. Oh, How about Larry David? Goodness. How's that job going, Larry David? Well, show. we're shooting. A, I'm shooting a, a lot more this month. Listen, right. here's the here's the. Let, take a few phone calls. Say hello to some people. Yeah, I, the people who you've set up uh, some white supremacists to call me. No, I haven't set up anybody. Yeah, last we, I always get set up. It's fun. I love it. I love Come it. Come on, let's 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 say let's hello to people. Let's roll with the people. Yeah. Donna, you're on with Richard Lewis this Saturday night at the town hall in Manhattan with Belzer. It should be a very very good show. The two top guys. Donna, go ahead. Hey, Richard, how you doing? I'll, I'll, I'll reserve judgment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I had a question. Um, Howard made a comment about Artie's behavior not being detrimental to the show. I wanted to know um, how you felt about it being detrimental to him, though. Oh yes, that's oh, different. very detrimental to him. Of course. H have you seen uh, Howard TV lately? <laughs> oh well, of course. I mean, I feel it is obviously, and until he faces up to his problem, you what? know, he'll continue to. What? That I look like yeah. shit on television? Mm. Huh? I mean, what? 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 What yeah. do you mean? What do you mean that I look like listen. I'm dying on TV? It's what is that? Right, ready everyone. for this comment? Let me answer that oh, in another yeah. way. When I uh, two nights ago in L.A., I was putting on. I wanted to catch up a little bit. You know, what's sure. going down? With the show and right. with, with right. Artie, and you have a new thing on now. It was like the one, it was almost like uh, 
the year in, in review with Artie. Right. right. Artie's yeah, yeah. wild year. Hey, can I just say something? Which, which, I, knew nothing, which I knew nothing gigantic about. That's gigantic enabler for Artie. Artie's wild I'm sorry year. to say to yes. you and the fucking well, company and I the producers. I don't think you're wrong. He's looking at that and he's whacking off in his head saying, no, look I'm at that. This is what's making me fucking great. No, and it ain't. Not. And it, That's not what makes me great. I hate that thing. You do? Of course I hate it. I it would be I would rather than put the funny shit I say on the air. <laughs> well, come up with it from time to time. It'll they'll plug it in. All right, no, there you it are is. funny, Artie. Uh, you know I think. No, but I'm brilliant. saying I, I don't. Of course I don't like that. All right, let's say hi to Rosie. I, Rosie, I, go I, ahead. I get paid eighty dollars an hour from them. Here's Rosie. <laughs> hi, good morning. I was wondering if Artie could wait until Saturday to die because I have tickets to see him in Boca Friday. Oh, oh of course, can you wait sweetie. That's Saturday. fucking hilarious. That's I'm nice. at. Uh, well, thank you, sweetie, because I, I could right. say I'm at the Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton. Uh, Don. Friday night call for whatever. Yeah, hi, guys. Uh, good morning, uh, Richard. Hey, yeah, I'm man. wondering, uh, you're doing Larry uh, David Curb Your Enthusiasm, and uh, did he set you up with another hot broad for your wife? I, I, I don't know yet. I, 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 I don't know until I get you, to the you set. You have a hot woman on. I don't want Did you get show. rid of the yeah, last you year? Had? Yeah, I don't think I'm with Cha Cha with Tia Carrera, of course. Anymore. When I was in last year, <laughs> I was telling the New York Times guy yesterday, I don't know when the auto come out, Thursday or whenever, and we were talking about you a lot. Right. But I said the one thing, and I was talking about Gary, I said, they have this fucking unbelievable way. Um, they're three clicks away from demolishing my career. <laughs> like when, I, when Tia Carrera was my. I said, I was on last year, and she was my girlfriend. Right. And Gary walks in with a big fucking shit-eating grin on. <laughs> hey, this just came in from the Canadian Express. Richard Lewis, that old Jew fuck. How, how does he get off of dating Tia Carrera? Like, I give a fuck what anyone has to say anyway. <laughs> fuck all that. But when you, you work, guys really know how to demolish a guest. When it's, you work it's with Tia Carrera, you did a love scene with her? Did you get to... No, I didn't even have a chance. I, I have never had a make-out session. On curb with any beautiful women. Larry doesn't uh, let me do it. Is it. Making out isn't funny anyway. Nobody's making out on that show. Who's making out? No one. La Larry had a. He, he, well, his, his wife. wife. Yeah, every once in a while. Yeah. I would Howard? kill to have a love scene on that show. It's improv. Why don't you start fucking her there right in front go. of everyone? You know something? That's a great <laughs> fucking of course, idea. Of course. What it's about improv. the enema? What well, if I what if I whip an out an enema? Cooper. Yes, Don. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Howard, uh, I just want to make a comment with you guys and Artie, man. I mean, you you, you got to be driving them nuts with this. Uh, Bring it up on the air, all this, uh, you know, his addiction and things like that. I think it's worse for him. I brought it up because I know Richard has been in contact. I, I don't mean him. just today, but I mean in general, overall. No, I'm not bringing it up anymore unless it's like, like Richard had a relationship. But like right. tomorrow when McCartney's on, I'm not bringing up right. Artie's drug problem. Unless Paul okay. brings it up. Paul could. brings it up <laughs> and wants to help on you. Although you oh, I, I can't wait to hear that. You could. If that happens, like, by Lennon, the way. Lennon was on heroin. You ask him That's how true. Lennon got off heroin. If well, that right. happens, by the way, I'm leaving show business. Did Paul have to do an intervention <laughs> with Lennon? I think McCartney might be the one to get Artie off drugs. You know, if he yeah. showed up with the intervention, a Beatle. <laughs> that would be a big deal. That would do it. Hey, you know, Ringo, I met my wife. Through Ringo, and he's been sober a long time. Is that true? Are you yeah. making a joke? No, at a party, and I picked I picked up my wife. Was it at Ringo's house? No, at, at, at A and M Records at the old studio. He had a record, and my wife was in the record business a long time, so she knew some of the writers. And I I've yet her. to meet your wife. Is she here with you in New York? Yeah, she is. Yes, and, I think when I'm I, free, if I could see you. Oh, no, I can't. Oh. What a shock! Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to take you and your wife to dinner? Is that what you're looking for? Are you hinting at that? No, I would take you to right. dinner after all you've done for me. I don't no, need your... I, you, I don't need your uh, dinner. I'll take you to dinner. No, I, I, I won't go. I'm free. Huh? I'm not free. Take me to dinner. You're not. You can't get to dinner with Richard again? I would like again? to. Tell me your schedule. What do you, when are you free? I'll, 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 get, I'll, get, I'll email Gary. I, now how, now I get information to you? How? Through a, through a terrorist network. Well, you have my phone number, right? Huh? No. Here. You've never given him your phone number. No. Here's my number. I, you know, Belzer claims that, you know, he's like... Buddy. Belzer has my number. Of course he does. No, I, mean, I wish he wouldn't use it. Of course, he never answers when he sees it's Bell. Here. I'm going to write it down for you right now. Bell's a third, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, no. Yeah, yeah, like it's really right. not a right. Rob! You have my number. I know you do. You're full of shit. Bell's loves you, by the way. And your wife. Thank you. He should. Because he, he met your wife. I just have to see pictures on the fucking internet. That's the kind of friendship we have. It's sad, Howard. It's sad. You never point. even met my, I never met your wife. That's because just you know you're a recluse and you know except with a few, a few people. I would like to meet the wife because I bet there's a lot to ask there and a lot of things to learn. Oh, it's I a... bet <laughs> uh, that, that poor woman. woman must be a saint. Oh my God, because it's all about it's you and the marriage. I'm yeah. sure. I mean, there's no room for her needs or any of her thoughts. I mean, she has her own house. 
She does. Yeah. She doesn't you even don't live, live here. She has a getaway house. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> has to leave Really, sometimes. 80 miles out of Hollywood. <laughs> wow. <laughs> as soon as we got... She says, if we get married, I have to buy my house. And then when I proposed, she, the next day she bought a house. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> Listen, go see Richard Lewis this Saturday night at the Town Hall in Manhattan for tickets. Go to Ticketmaster.com. That's the place. Uh, she, good to see you guys. Uh, I love seeing you. And, yeah. and see Richard January 22nd through the 24th in Palm Beach, Florida. I do want to thank you for making that call to Artie. I know you weren't looking for thanks, but... He made several calls. He's, he's hey, Artie knows what he has to do. I mean, you know, that guy is right. It is annoying to him, but, you know, the more, you, you know, it's you up to Artie. You and that's what counts. It's up to Artie. I think it's annoying to the audience at this point. That's no, right. no, it's not. For more information... I don't go, think so. Robin likes it. For more information, go to <laughs> richardlewisonline.com. That means R it's definitely annoying to the audience. And, and go see Richard's show by all means. The guy's got endless hours of material. He sits at home, he writes all day, he has nothing else to do. Well, That's let him true. Let get some of his yeah. material out there. And how about Belzer? Come on. And the Belzonics. Belzer, come on. I would go see the Belzonics. Is, this, is, this, is the name of his band really the Belzonics? Yeah, the Belzonics. I thought it was. A, that's why I thought about Enema. It sounded like a high client, the Belzonics. You go to your wife's house? Huh? Does she have a husband there, or does she? <laughs> uh, another time we'll talk about yeah, okay. that. Paul the great Richard Lewis will be back right after these words. Who's this? Lady Gaga, number one song, Billboard Top 100. Lady Gaga? I missed it. I didn't Lady hear it. Lady Gaga. I saw a picture of her. She looked kind of cute.